Come on, man. We're going to get this last one in, y'all. We're going to hit three and one because they'll go to this too because Job did something three and one. Let's read three and one, y'all. Y'all read all of this. Let's get that three and one to Job. Job chapter three, verse one. After this opened, Job his mouth and cursed his day. What'd he do? He cursed his day. So he cursed his birthday. Some say that's why February only has a short month. That's what they use. You know, that's where that term comes from. That's why February only have so many days. Because Job cursed his day. Let's read. And Job spake and said, Let the day perish wherein I was born, and the night in which it was said, There is a mad child conceived. Now, Job is cursing the day that he was born. Is he cursing the day because he don't believe in birthday? Is he cursing the day because his calamity is powering up all the He said, I wish I had never been born before I faced this. That's the same thing as God saying, in fact, was it Matthew? It's better for a man never been born than to talk about touching a child. Right, absolutely. So It's the same thing, but they'll use that and say, right there, he hated birthday so bad, he cursed the day he was born. Well, I ain't seen none of that cursing when it was talking about them fat cows and all of that. No, not once. Was he cursed about he living sumptuous. But this cursing still is not the level of Job. Job just saying, I, I just hate what is happening to everybody around me. I wish I had never been born. And then Satan wouldn't be attacking me. Like this ain't got nothing to do with this word right here. Or things that are taking place. Like what it has to do is what it started off with. Satan is attacking Job because he's a righteous man. Plain and simple. And when you get down to the end of the matter, just flip over to the end of Job, y'all. We close out. What psalm we closing out with? Just hit the end of the matter. We're going to see what Job was restored by keeping his dignity. Let's go to 42 and 12, y'all. We're going to close out with this. What psalm we got, sir? Y'all, this is what we understand. When you want to talk about a matter, get to the origin of the matter. Before you point anything out that's evil of God. Because the bottom line, if it's me, I'm going to ask you to show me in one of them. Show me one of them 613 laws I'm breaking. If they say, well, right here you had that, and you brought this in here, and you brought that in here, you know that ain't going to be okay. All right, I won't do that no more. I'll eliminate that. You got to eliminate sin out of your body. Let's read. The uh, 42 starts about, about verse 12. Job, chapter 42, verse 12. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asked. Now this is what I want to bring to the attention that is God blessing him because he put down uh, uh, birthdays or is he blessed him because he withstood the drama that Satan was putting on him? He 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 Let's read some more of this. Now, Verse 13. He had also seven sons and three daughters. He had seven more sons and three more daughters. The Lord put it right back, giving him right back what he had. Verse 14. And he called the name of the first. Jamal. Jamima. 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 Saint Jamima. What do you think? <laughs> and the name of the second, Keziah. And the name of the third, Karen Hapla. Okay. And all in the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. After this lived Job a hundred and forty years, and saw his sons and his sons' sons, even four generations. So he died, being old and full of his days. Full of days. And once again, said nothing about his birth. Was again, he felt like, kill me, Lord, I don't want to live no longer. Huh? <laughs> But see, y'all, this is how things get twisted. And it's a second Maccabees. What is that? Y'all just read that on your own time in their pocket for us. Second Maccabees is talking chapter about the king. First Maccabees, second, chapter, second, second Maccabees, Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 7. Verse 7, they talk about and in the king's day. What the king did on his birthday, he had a feast every day. If his birthday was on the 15th, for the next 10 months, he had a party on the 15th of every month. On the day of the king's birth. And they look at that as a birthday. Can't no man got no birthday every day of the year. Every month. It has nothing to do with that. He just said, a birthday on the 15th of March. I'm going to celebrate on the 15th of April. The 15th of May. The 15th of June. I'm um, just have a feast. I'm going to have a real party. Like this. So what he's doing is he just keep doing something to get the people there. And all he was doing was defile. 
had nothing to do with this because his birthday ain't, ain't nobody born every month of the year, is it? Let's get this photo in y'all. What song? Hey, stretch what song? Hundred and seventeen song, y'all. Okay. Let's get it, y'all. Song. Okay. Psalm one seventeen, with the Most High's permission. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, y'all, y'all got a shekel or two, y'all. We greatly appreciate it. Hey, y'all, please pick up after.